Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go. Hi guys, welcome to part two of my Disney's Marathon, uh, of Disney's um, Scary Book Marathon. To uh, this hour, we will be reading Tarzan, One Brave Gorilla. All right, guys, let's get into this. Hey, Turk, wait up, Tarzan cried as he raced through the jungle. Turk rolled her eyes. Oh, great, she murmured to her friends Flint and Mungo. Tarzan is following us again. What should we do? Mungo asked. We can't let him come to the waterfall with us, Flint said. You remember what happened the last time? I remember, Turk said, shaking her head as she recalled the elephant stampede Tarzan had caused. What are you guys doing? Tarzan asked as he hurried over to them. We're just going for a walk, Turk said quickly, faking a yawn. Just a boring old walk in the boring old jungle. A walk, Tarzan asked. Sounds fun. Can I come? Turk looked at Flint and Mungo, who shook their heads. Oh, man, thought Turk. I hate it when Tarzan does that. Maybe I can talk him out of coming. Hmm, Turk said. I'm not sure that you really want to join us. The part of the jungle that we're going to is kind of scary. Scary? Tarzan repeated. What do you mean? Well, we'll be close to where the horrible Slytherinix lives, Turk said, crossing her fingers behind her back. What's a Slytherinix? Tarzan asked. It's a horrible, hideous monster, Turk said, with sharp, slobbery teeth and stilly claws. A Slytherinix doesn't scare me, Tarzan said. I can fight it off. Yeah, well... Turk said, if you're not afraid of the Slytherinix, maybe you'll be afraid of the goblin quicksand. It'll swallow you whole. I can use a vine to swing over the quicksand, Tarzan said. It sound like you got something fast on. Oh no, Turk said. You can't use a vine. There are, there are slippery, slithery snakes in the trees that will attack you. I'm not afraid of snakes. Tarzan said, I've seen plenty, but these snakes are poisonous, Turk said. Gee, Turk, Flint whispered, I don't like the sound of those snakes. Yeah, Mungo agreed, and I don't like the sound of that Slytherinix either. Turk rolled her eyes. Of course there are no snakes near the waterfall or quicksand, and there was no such thing as a Slytherinix. She had just wanted to scare Tarzan so he could, so he would stay behind. But so far, the only ones she were, who were real, who were frightened by Turk's stories were Flint and Mungo. Mungo. Okay, Tarzan, Turk said finally, you can come. Hooray! Tarzan cried. He jumped up happily and grabbed onto a nearby vine, but the vine broke and he fell face first onto the ground. Jess tried to stay out of trouble, Turk said with a sigh. She waited for Tarzan to pick himself up and then quickly walked deeper into the jungle. Flint and Mungo were right behind her. Hey, Turk, Mungo whispered. Why did you let Tarzan come with us? Yeah, Flint said. What's the big idea? She tried to stop y'all. Just keep moving, Turk said. If Tarzan can't keep up, maybe he'll give up and go home. Good thinking, Mungo whispered. Turk nodded. She hated it when Tarzan looked sad, but she also knew that if he came to the waterfall, it would be a disaster. Sure enough, after a while, Turk, Mungo, and Flint couldn't see Tarzan behind them anymore. And a little while after that, they couldn't hear him either. See, Turk grinned, Tarzan has gone home already. By now, the gorillas had 
walked deep into the jungle. It was dark and very creepy. Are you sure that this is the right way to the waterfall? Mungo asked. I think it is, Turk said. He stopped and looked around and realized that he wasn't really sure. Turk had taken a win winding path through the jungle so that Tarzan would have trouble following him them and now it looked as if they were lost just then there was a loud squawk turk jumped what was that mungo asked just a bird turk said i think i don't mind birds flint said i just hope we don't run into any of those snakes or the slithernicks mungo agreed oh there's no such thing as a slithernicks Turk said, her voice wavering. But Turk began thinking of sharp teeth and steely claws. What if that really was a Slithernix? Suddenly, the bushes started rustling. Yikes! Mungo cried as he jumped back and knocked Flint over. They both fell backward into a large mud puddle. The quicksand, Flint shouted, is going to get us. I'll save you! Turk cried. She ran to her friends and grabbed Flint's arm, but it was covered in mud. As Turk tried to drag them out, her hand slipped and she stumbled backward against a tree. A bunch of vines fell around her. Snakes! Turk shrieked. They're everywhere! Somebody help me! <laughs> Turk, are you okay? Someone shouted. Just then, a small figure jumped out of the bushes and began tugging at the vines that were all around Turk. It took Turk a moment to realize that she was covered in vines, not snakes. And the figure helping her was Tarzan. Tarzan, what are you doing here? Turk cried. What do you mean? Tarzan asked. Remember? I'm going with you guys to the waterfall. He walked over to Flint and Mungo and helped them out of the mud. And it looks as if you could use a waterfall right now, Tarzan said with a grin. <laughs> You're one brave gorilla, said Turk. Flint and Mungo looked at each other, embarrassed. Tarzan, bad, been brave. Braver than they had been. Mm. Sorry about that. Tarzan had been brave. Braver than they had been. So what are we waiting for? Tarzan asked. Let's go to the waterfall. And so they did. And there wasn't a Slithernix in sight. All right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to this hour of Big Mama Story Time. Please don't forget to tune in in another hour for the next Big Mama Story Time, which will be Peter Pan, Captain Hook Shadow. If you want to hear that one, tune in, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already. All right, guys. Bye.